What does the Bible say about anger? Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all new videos. A short-tempered man is a fool. The Bible states in Ecclesiastes 7 and 9, don't be quick-tempered, that has been a fool. Also, Proverbs 19 and 11 states, a wise man restrains his anger and overlooks insults. This is to his credit. And Proverbs 16 and 32 states, it is better to be slow-tempered than famous. It is better to have self-control than to control an army. Next, get over anger quickly. The Bible states in Ephesians 4, 26 and 27, If you are angry, don't sin by nursing your grudge. Don't let the sun go down with you still angry. Get over it quickly. For when you are angry, you give a mighty foothold to the devil. What does Jesus warn about anger? The Bible states in Matthew 5 and 22, But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, you fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. How does God relate to anger? The Bible states in Psalms 103 and 8, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in mercy. How does love relate to anger? The Bible states in 1 Corinthians 13 and 5, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no records of wrongs. Don't fight back when wronged. The Bible states in 1 Peter 3 and 9, don't reply evil for evil. Don't snap back at those who say unkind things about you. Instead, pray for God's help for them. For we are to be kind to others and God will bless us for it. Anger produces strife. The Bible states in Proverbs 30 and 33, For as churning the milk produces butter, and as twisting the noose produces blood, so stirring up anger produces strife. How should we react to someone's anger? The Bible states in Proverbs 15 and 1, A soft anger turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Finally, why do we forgive rather than continue to be angry? Because God forgives us. The Bible states in Ephesians 4, 30 and 32, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. 